I'm Peter Reinhardt, and I'm here in Boulder, Colorado, at Pizzeria Basta with Kelly Whitaker, the owner, the chef of this fabulous wood-fired pizzeria and restaurant. And Kelly, I've got a challenge for you today. I brought you a big wedge of Belgioiosa Fontina cheese, and what I want you to do is turn it into a great pizza. Okay. All right, show us how you <laughs> think as a cook. Sounds good. Uh, well, with this, you know, right away I think about maybe um, the flavors of Fontina, adding a little prosciutto, but not in the way a lot of times people finish a pizza with prosciutto. Uh -huh. uh, what I'm going to do is a little prosciutto cotto, which means cooked. Cooked. Yeah, so I like what it we're going to do, yeah. yeah, so, and then I got a few uh, uh, local mushrooms from Hazeldale Farm, oyster mushrooms. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're going to add that in there with uh, this cheese. So let's get a little cheese rolling right now. All right. And uh, I'm just going to kind of rough chop. This prosciutto is fantastic. There's a little speck in here, too, which is smoked prosciutto. And both of these come from La Quercia in Des Moines, Iowa, of all places for prosciutto. And, Even though uh, your, your theme is Italian, but you like to use what's local. Absolutely. I, I think the closer it is to home, the better it tastes. So. And the dough, you're stretching a dough which, which is made, I thought when I first tasted your pizzas, it was Italian flour, but you're actually using American flour, This right? is flour, it's a zero zero, it's the same style of flour from Italy, but this one is from Northern California. I don't think uh, everyone realized you can get double zero flour in America now. Correct. This comes from Justo's Mill in South San Francisco, and they're old friends of mine. I used to actually use their flour when I had my bakery in, in San Francisco. So with this, I really want the flavor of the uh, toppings to stand out, so. I'm gonna add a white sauce. This is actually like a normal bruschetta from home. Tomatoes, chopped basil, olive oil. So that's just and the I just juice. Use, yeah, that's just the juice from the, the tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little of uh, our house made mozzarella just to kind of cut into the fontina a little bit and help it melt a little better. So now we're just gonna add the fontina in. This is a fontina going on. Some of our uh, seasonal mushrooms. These are, are cooked cook? ahead of time, but for Good. home you can definitely you can definitely just throw them on there raw. I think it's a good idea mushrooms. to cook them a little bit ahead, don't you? Yeah. It's less rubbery. And, it is. And then uh, it and mushrooms the... tend to bring a lot of water out. Yeah, you know, as exactly. So, yeah. so we're adding our our speck and our prosciutto. So when you're cooking it, instead of putting it on afterwards, like they do in a lot of pizzerias, you're uh, actually almost turning it into like bacon. It is, and it, and it's real nice because those oils come out of the prosciutto, come out of the speck. So now we're just gonna. Go right in You're gonna here. Bake them it. in a hot wood fired oven. Yep. Which in your oven, how, how long does a pizza typically take? It typically takes about a minute. Wow. About 60 seconds. That's fast. Sometimes, you know, when we really get going on a Friday night, we'll we'll get to that 50 second mark, that 45 second mark. So that's kind of the way it's done in Naples with a yeah. one minute type pizza. Yeah. But if somebody's baking this at home in a home oven and they, they don't have wood, mm -hmm. uh, what, what would you suggest they well, do? Well, first I would recommend a pizza stone. You know, it's not an expensive yeah. accessory in the kitchen. It's approachable. It's really easy. I'd put that stone in there. Yeah, heat like it about up. 400, 450. You know, you're going to get that lift. Well, you're you're going to get that You're getting a lot, of, bake, a lot so. of lift already in 30 seconds. Yeah. It's already popped up. So we're just going to get a spin. This is what I call, you know, like Basta pizza. Basta. It's our, we've, we've made it our own because, you know, in Naples, I, and I love their pizza. You go there, they don't cut the pizza. Yeah. It's soup in the middle. Right. You know, and I love that. They eat it, it with it, a knife the, and fork. Oh, yeah, yeah, knife and fork all the way. Here, what I wanted to do was, you know, create a little bit firmer, a little bit crispier, keep a little bit bigger of a crust, um, and but at the same time, I want it to be really light. You know, I don't want a heavy, dense, right. doughy pizza. So, the, so my style of pizza is just very light, crisp. And between the, uh, and the the mozzarella that you put on and the fontina, both of which are really good melting cheeses, we should have like a really soft melt. Oh, yeah. It's it's real molten at this point, but not but not wet. It's not we're putting a lot of water into yeah, the dough. Yeah, you can see right here. It's just standing off the plate. It's like you know, it's not sinking into the plate. It's light and crisp. And last thing I want to do with your uh, challenge here, because I think it goes a long ways. And this is going back to that classic, you know, arugula pizza where they finish with a little arugula Afterwards. and they put the prosciutto after. Yeah. I still think adding a little arugula to this pizza can go a long ways to add a little bit different texture, a little freshness on yeah. top. One of the, the, the tricks I think that every great pizzeria knows is that color and contrast in the appropriate way, green with the white, brings out a lot of contrast and really makes it pop visually as well as taste great. So, Kelly Whitaker, a creative on the spot challenge with Fontina cheese, uh, speck, smoke, uh, smoked prosciutto, smoked prosciutto yeah. and prosciutto, yeah. finished off with some arugula 
and on his beautiful one minute crust made with American flour. Interesting. There you go. You get all that smoky flavor from the, the speck, and then the beautiful melting cheese. Look how beautiful the cornicion is open, bubbly. Just doesn't get much better than this. Mmm. Oh, wow.